This is how I created leaks for my last concrete material and it was all thanks to the slow blur node. Using the directional scratches node I set some lines to 90 degrees and lowered the pattern amount and size in X. Then I applied a multi-directional warp with a cloud 2. To get the right shape I blurred this and increased the value for the levels so that then I could use it inside a slow blur. This node had an intensity of 0.12 and the mode in blur. Now we are far from over but there are two nodes that are gonna really help us get there. Using a non-uniform blur I was able to maintain the shapes and soften the edges. By combining this with a non-uniform directional warp, I managed to set the degrees to minus 90 and the intensity to 10. If you want to have more control over the length of your leaks, I can give you a small secret that is going to be really useful for you. You can multiply these leaks by a gradient linear one and add a gradient map in the middle so you can now move the black value around and choose how long these leaks are gonna be. Now I managed to get this far but I'm really interested in knowing how you would make these leaks look more realistic. Let me know in the comments below.